morning everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Lisa if you are new around here today's video is going to be one that I haven't actually done in this house and can you believe we have nearly been living here for a year now one year I literally can't believe it so today's video is an Ikea Best Buys video I've done a couple of these before so I will link the other two down below and any other Ikea videos down below as well because I've got a whole playlist for you to watch but today's video is going to be my best buys from Ikea for this house so we've got a few different items around the house and I just cannot wait to share them with you a couple of big items smaller items as well I'm also waiting for an Ikea delivery actually it's coming within the next hour we've actually bought another item well another one of one of my favorite best buys which I'll show you later on in the video I've also got one to assemble actually which I may do in the video as well for you so if you'd like to see that keep on watching so yeah if you'd like to see what my IKEA best buys are at the moment and then just keep watching let's get started okay so the first item I'm going to put them together are IKEA vases and IKEA faux plants now I bought this huge vase at my last IKEA trip I think it was or maybe the one before and it's like got the smoked glass effect it's absolutely beautiful I love the shape of it it's currently sat on top of like a pillar that I bought from an antique shop uh, a few months ago now actually and I just thought it would be the perfect vase to go on top of it because it's got that great sizing it's got that great color and I absolutely love the shape of it so I actually bought some greenery as well to go in there IKEA had the best faux plants faux flowers anything they even have like seasonal pieces as well that they bring in each year and I absolutely love them these are my current favorites I'm currently going for more of a green theme I just want everything to look really earthy and I think this works really well so I've got a mix of kind of olive branches and then I can't remember what the other one is called but I will link them down below for you they create a really big impact on a budget which I think is great I think this arrangement will work really well on a dining table as well or a coffee table I tend to like move it around the house because I think it works really really well and I've had this greenery for so so long so Ikea faux flowers Ikea faux greenery and also the vases are amazing I've got a number of vases around the house now and a number of pots as well and I just think they are absolutely fantastic so I would definitely recommend those for Best Buy number one the next best buy is a coffee table so we have got parquet flooring in our living room and it is original parquet flooring and I wanted something that was going to kind of bring that to life as well kind of add a little bit more warmth into the room at the moment we've got a lot of like greys and things in here I wanted to add some warmth with the coffee table and that is what we've done it's called the Vegemon I think it's called they also have a smaller more side table that matches it if you wanted to go for like matching furniture I tend to kind of keep things very not matchy actually at the moment nothing really matches in the house which i really like it adds a little bit more interest i think but the coffee table is absolutely fab these go through so much testing i always thought that like with tables like this you need to protect them like if you get any spills on them but ikea furniture actually goes through so much testing before it actually goes into store to make sure that it's really hard wearing and long lasting and i found that low i've really found that with this coffee table obviously the kids are always playing on it always putting things down on it and there are no marks on it and we've had it for a few months now and it's absolutely fabulous let me tell you the price of it as well just so you've got an idea on the price point so this one is 99 pounds it's an oak veneer and it's 90 centimeters like diameter it's it's absolutely gorgeous so this is what it looks like and I just think it's absolutely fab. I love what it's done for the room. I love that it's got like a little shelf as well. So you've got like a shelf underneath which you could put some coffee table books. I often put like the kids' iPads under there so they know where they are. Um, but yeah, you can use it for anything. And I think it would be lovely as well at Christmas time. I was thinking that like that lower section, you could put some fairy lights under there and it would just illuminate the coffee table I thought that would be a really pretty idea so I love it for styling I love it for obviously the practicality of it and I think it looks fabulous as well so that is Ikea Best Buy number two Ikea Best Buy number three is lighting now we've had lots of different lights over the years I'm gonna overlay some lighting that we've bought from Ikea over the years now in this house we haven't got that many Ikea lights but we did buy um, and like a large light for the kitchen and it's just worked really well I love the color of it it's practical it looks fab in the kitchen and Ikea lighting is just great there's so so many options they've got great lamps it's affordable and you've got so many options so I love that they have some really great kids lights as well so yeah lamps lights I don't think I need to say any more about it apart from there is such a huge selection loads to choose from and great if you are on a budget 
Ikea Best Buy number four is going to be toy storage. Now we've had loads of different toy storage over the years. I've mentioned this in Best Buys before, but I think it's really important because I always get asked about toy storage and I think Ikea is probably the number one place to go and a great number of storage pieces for different sized rooms as well. So you've got small storage, you've got larger storage. We actually have the Ikea Lego storage, which is fabulous because my kids absolutely love Lego. They've got so many Legos. I'm actually gonna put together now in the next clip another piece of storage which I'm going to use for Lego. It's fabulous. So let's get into that and I'll show you putting the Lego storage together. Okay, so now I'm gonna to put together the Trofast um, storage. So this is what I'm using in Vinny's bedroom. Eventually I'm gonna paint this, but for now we're just gonna put it together today and we're gonna pop it on the wall. So these are all of the bits. There's not actually that many bits. So let's get it and put it together. Mark's just going to put it up on the wall for me. We're just deciding where we should put it. I think lower, but so it's easily accessible. That mound's obviously not central. That mound can go right if you want. I think if we have it a bit lower. <laughs> what do you think? Can't really tell. It's a bit crazy, but we need to put a picture. No, it's too high up there. I think he needs to be able to act like reach it. I like it but it's not centre enough. I like it. So we put the mirror over up a little bit more and then just put this up elevated slightly underneath it yeah do you know what i mean so it's all so it's middle like, just so it's like that much off the yeah yeah floor the mirror will come up a little bit but give me a nice hole to fill there i think it will come up well, i take the mirror off a minute then whip the mirror off stuck. <laughs> do you know what i mean so is it one like screw that? on there or two two oh what a game i've got to do two screws yeah. in there. why don't we the move side. the mound over first let's move the mound and then we know what we're looking at don't we Right, so we've moved the mount over so it's central to the wall now. We've put the mirror back where it was. Now I feel like this is good because we've added the height with the plant. Yeah, it's not. And it's a good height for Vinny. We don't need it too high because otherwise he won't be able to reach it. Yeah. So yeah, I think that is how it should be. And then once it's painted, it will blend in a bit better, won't it? And look a bit more like this colour. Okay, so we've now got everything sorted out and on the wall. I just thought I would get this Lego storage out as well. And I'm just going to leave it there for now, but eventually i'll probably put something else there or maybe even take that away but this is so so good for lego storage let me show you all of this lego was taking up so much space in Vinny's wardrobe literally like two massive shelves so now it's all contained he can kind of sort through them as and when he wants to but i've just kind of put everything in there for now but like how much better is that having it on the wall out the way he can access it really easily and yeah, I'm really, really pleased with it. I've just popped this IKEA plant on here. This is actually a lampshade. So um, I've done that in a video, a hacks video, which I'll link down below for you. But that is how everything looks. I think it's really fun. A great little idea for a playroom or a children's room. And as his interests change, we can put other things in here. So this would also be great for like arts and craft supplies, things like that. So really pleased with the Trophy storage and I think it's gonna work really well in this room. As you can see as well, this Lego storage here is stackable, so you could take them off if you don't want them both on top of each other. And of course, it's another great way to kind of display their favorite Lego pieces. So yeah, lots of great toy storage. Just taking that second Lego box down because I feel like it was too much height going on there, so now we've brought it down a bit 
And as you can see, I think it looks fab. So I'm really, really pleased with that. Next stage will be to paint this one. So it's the same color as his paneling in his room, which you can see here. So I think once it is that color, it's gonna really work well in the room and kind of incorporate it really nicely into the styling that we've done in here. Okay, my final best buy that I'm gonna share with you today, I've got so many that I can share with you, but I think today we're gonna to leave it on this one because this is the biggest one. This is my number one product from Ikea. I will buy it and buy it again because I think it's absolutely fantastic because it is versatile, you can make it fit and work in your home. There are so many options with it. And of course, it is the Pax wardrobe. Now, we've had our Pax wardrobe for, well, we bought it in the last house. We customized it for us. I put a vanity table in there. We had storage for our TV in there. It was amazing. Now you can go for like mirrored Pax furniture, which is fabulous. If you need to make a room feel bigger, mirrored furniture is always great. And obviously the Pax doors, you can get mirrored and they look fabulous. A little bit more cleaning, of course, but they do look great and they do make the room feel bigger. We had them in our last bedroom, which was quite a small room and it definitely added a little bit more light into the room. And it was nice to just have all of the mirrors in there. Now in this house, we've gone for the Grimo doors. I believe it's the Grimo doors, they're 40 pounds each. They are amazing, so, so gorgeous, so sleek, very, very like stylish. You can change it up by using different hardware. We bought different hardware, not from Ikea, just to make it feel a little bit different, to make it feel a little bit more luxe. And I think it's absolutely fabulous. And again, inside the wardrobe, we have hidden our TV. It's just such a great, clever idea. It makes the room feel more sleek. It makes it feel more cozy. You haven't got like a big TV in the way. And yeah, it looks absolutely great. So you, there's so many different storage options inside the wardrobe as well. So you can go for drawers, you can go for hanging space, you can go for shelves. There are literally so many different things. You've also got like pull out shoe storage as well, which is fabulous, which brings me on to what we're doing in our boot room. So we are actually gonna be using the Pax wardrobes in our boot room because again, it's so versatile, you can make it work for you. I'm gonna have one whole wardrobe just for foot, like shoe storage because they actually have like shoe storage shelves, which is fab. They do have the shoe storage pull out sh um, shelves as well, which is also great. So that is something that we're gonna do in our boot room. And then we're also gonna have coat storage, lots of hanging space. And also they have different depths. They do have different heights to work for you as well. You can definitely hack the Ikea Pax wardrobes to make them look built in. So you can just add some like MDF around them get it all plastered in, and then it will look like it is a fitted wardrobe. It will save you thousands of pounds. We had a quote from a couple of big retailers for built-in storage for exactly what we wanted. We got it from Ikea, but the quote was around 5,000 pounds, and we ended up doing our Ikea one for around 1,000 pounds. So a huge, huge saving, and you can customize it to yourself. I actually created the Pax wardrobe systems on the Pax Planner on the Ikea website. I know they've got a lot of um, elements that are out of stock at the moment, but I did speak to Ikea when I was ordering my Pax wardrobes for the boot room, and they did say a lot of the Pax stuff that's out of stock at the moment will be coming back into stock in March. So you've got plenty of time to get planning for your wardrobe, and then in March you can order it all and make sure it is all there. Ikea do have a service where you can actually pay to have someone come and do put it all together, which we did do for um, two of our wardrobes actually. They were fantastic, they were really quick. They do it all the time, so it was just really easy and fuss free. We're actually going to attempt to put our ones together in the boot room, so I will let you know how that goes. I'll probably vlog it, so fingers crossed we can do it as well. I'm sure you could do it too. So yeah, that is my final favorite IKEA product. I absolutely love it, it's my number one. I should have mentioned it at the start, but I wanted to keep you here till the end to save the best till last. So let me know what your favorite IKEA item is. I would absolutely love to hear it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I would love to have you stick around and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Stars.